Hey everyone, I'm Brian. And I'm Nikki. And we are Cooking with the Codas. He's a finance guy with very little cooking experience. And she is a culinary trained registered dietitian teaching me and you how to cook in the kitchen. We have a fun recipe for you today. We are going to teach you how to make quiche. Ooh. So quiche is an egg-based dish that involves a nice flaky crust. So this, we're going to be using some butter, some real butter. So this isn't going to be a low-fat dish, but this is a great breakfast or brunch option to have on occasion. So a quiche has a crust. What's the difference when it doesn't have a crust? Yeah, so that would be considered a frittata. And that's cooked on the stove and then thrown in the oven where we're just putting our whole pie in the oven for this one. So we have very basic ingredients for our crust over here. We have some all-purpose flour, some cold butter, an egg, and some salt. We have our quiche fillings. We have, besides our eggs and our milk that are the base, we have some different vegetables. What's great about this recipe is you can take whatever you have in your fridge, whether it's some of the ingredients we have here, like some tomato, bell pepper, spinach, um, onion. You could even do some mushrooms or some zucchini. Whatever you have hanging out. We even had some vegetables that were getting a little questionable, so we wanted to use them before they went bad. For more information on how to dice vegetables, you can check our link below. Now the last and one of the most important ingredients besides the eggs is shredded cheese. It looks like a nice egg and vegetable soup. That's exactly what we're going for with this. You can even have your kids bring one of their boats from the bathtub and have it float on here just so that they get your kids involved in cooking, get them excited about it. So our quiche is out of the oven and it has been cooling for about 10 minutes. Quiche is great warm out of the oven or at room temperature. You can see that this does look similar to an omelet, how everything is cooked together with the tomatoes and the spinach and everything that we've added to this. However, what makes the quiche different and delicious as well is that it's baked and it has the nice flaky crust that we have with it. Just as a reminder, you can add other ingredients to it if you want to add like a breakfast sausage or a little bit of bacon or green chilies or this vegetable mixture that we have for you today. But any way you make it, Use whatever ingredients you have on hand so you can make this cheap and affordable. Well, thanks again for watching and we hope you try this delicious quiche at home. Thanks again for 
watching. Please make sure you tune in to our future episodes. Uh, if you like this video of us making that quiche, uh, make sure to click the like button, subscribe to our page if you haven't already, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single episode. Have a good one.